Hey guys, this is Veron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So we are doing the um, overview video for the Flora series, which is the monthly um, project that I did for the month for the year of 2018. And the concept was to create um, a piece of art using colored pencils every month based on the birth flower for that month. And the project came about because I wanted to uh, practice using colored pencils. I had gotten, I just had got, just had gotten my polychromos back then, and this was my way of trying to get rid of the intimidation and the the fear of using such an expensive art material and not just letting it rot in the corner. So I thought about this. And this was supposed to have started in January 2018, but I actually remembered or actually thought of the concept only around Feb or really, really late Feb. So it was a month late. And then around September, October, I didn't post almost anything at all because of like work and art block and uh, burnout. So, I mean, for other stuff not YouTube related, so I didn't really post anything. And then. Uh, I mean, that's why you only see the, the December video now. So, either way, I'm kind of happy that I finished this series. It would have been sad if I didn't finish until December. So, let's jump into it. So, first you have January, which is the Carnation. So, the Carnation represents love, fascination, distinction, pure love, and good luck. So, I focused on the theme of distinction. Just because it was more interesting than uh, normal themes, I guess. And since this was the first piece and I wasn't really, really, really um, acquainted with colored pencils yet, uh, it's not as... It's not my best work, obviously, since it's, it's the first. And I had used colored pencils before this, like the classics, the Derwent Ink Pens pencils, uh, the classic colored pencil from Faber Castell as well, but I wasn't gonna. I, I couldn't say that I was gonna be confident with it because um, watercolor was my main medium, so you know it's a bit hard changing medium sometimes. So that's why the the details aren't all that great, and the shading could use a lot of work. Like there is some shading. I mean, you could see, but. It's very flat to me, but it's the first piece, so that's that. Just ignore the background. Um, my desk is too small to accommodate like a spread like this, so I had to improvise this background. Bob sorry, is there for extra focusing, <laughs> and he just screwed up the focus. Extra focusing action. Just ignore the background over there. Um, that's the aftermath from Christmas shopping and all of that. So yeah. So next is February, which is the violet. And it represents faithful, wisdom, hope, innocence, and royalty. So the royalty theme which I went with actually belonged to the iris. But by the time I noticed that I used the wrong theme for the wrong flower, and I drew violets and wrote violets already, I just kind of stuck with it. And after all, you can just like interpret what you want from it and I wanted to experiment a little bit on how to place the violets or the flowers in the picture and not just be constrained with putting it as a cluster of flowers so I put it here in the in like as an accessory of sorts and all of that I started to become a bit more familiar with it started playing around with the medium and all of that so yeah it's the only thing that's, that sucks is that I actually colored in the title for Carnation, which I thought was a good idea until I did it. And by the time I got to the violet and to the other cards, I didn't want to do it because it didn't seem, I don't know, it, it was a bit too much color, so it's a little bit weird. So for March, we have the Daffodil. Which represents spring, rebirth, domestic happiness, respect, regard, and friendship. So, I went to the spring theme, quite obviously. And for Daffodil, 
I am starting to get a bit more familiar with the medium. I actually do uh, the all these three in almost succession because I started it in late Feb, so I was like pumping it out as quickly as possible. So I so by this time I was a bit more familiar with the colored pencils. Um, I was starting to play around with it, so I chose a darker color for the skin to play around. Um, Again, I brought back the, the race type of thing in from Carnation. I also did the field of flowers, though that took quite some time. And I started adding more layers of different colors, experiment with shadows, and just try to slowly get better at it. And there are some sirens. I wonder what's happening. Well, there's a, there's a fire station near me, so they could just be heading out or something. I hope there's no fire nearby or something. Okay, let's try to ignore the sirens for a little bit. I hope my voice would, um, you know, cover that up. So next, we have the Sweet Pea, which is the month for the month of April. It represents love, youth, purity, goodbyes, and departures. So sweet piece is actually my favorite piece of all of them. When I laid them all out in a spread already, I I really really like sweet pea. But when I saw it against everything else, I decided that I even liked it even more. So sweet pea is for April. And for some reason I just really love the theme and the, like how much more somber it is or like sadder or in general the composition is really good even for me, like there's I really like the symmetry here and how the flowers are just like not really taking away from the central focus. I really like the composition of this piece. I don't I don't know why. Is there a golden ratio? I can't it's not thirds because she's not in the thirds. So is the golden ratio? So if it could be. It could be like that. No but yeah, something like that. Who knows? <laughs> But I just really like the composition for this piece. Um, I really like the, the dull toned down colors for it. And the only thing I want to improve is how the flowers are drawn since they still look kind of flat. But that's something I try to improve throughout the series. Next for me, we have the Lily of the Valley. Which represents love, appreciation, perfection, chastity, Passion, beauty, humility, and the return of happiness. So I found out that the, that the lily of the valley is a flower that's often used in weddings. So that's sort of the theme that I rolled with. And it's also like love and turn to hap return of happiness and all of that. I also experimented with how the flowers come up once again. So instead of being like a field like in these three, it's more of an accessory or a decoration. But it is still somewhat in the picture itself mainly because it's an accessory flower and not usually the main flower i felt like this was more appropriate i also started experimenting with like pressure and all of that i mean i i knew how to do that with graphite but i didn't know how to work it well with colored pencils and how to cover large areas of background with just plain colored pencil that's still something i am trying to to learn. I hope it all fits in the in the frame. If not, I'll just have to casually adjust my camera a little bit and you'll see the little shot over there, but whatever. <laughs> For June Whoa, that's wrong. Where's the other one? Okay, so next we have the rose, which is for June, which represents humility, chastity, sweetness, appreciation, return to happiness, love, gratitude, and devoted affection. So realistically, for Rose, I actually wanted to just go with the theme of lay it down in the bed of roses type of theme. So that's what it is. And I started adding um, another different type of media, which is the favorite castle pit artist pens which are ink ink markers yeah change position and um yeah i i want i just added that in 
because I'm starting to get tired of working with the backgrounds and all of that. And it still kind of turned out really nice. Most of it is still colored pencil. Only the background and the highlights are your markers. One thing I noticed is that maybe I shouldn't have added darker roses because it tend to steal the spotlight from the from the lighter ones. I tried that to add in like depths and shadows, but that didn't seem to work. So yeah. Just put that over there. I might need to adjust my camera a little bit. There we go. Focus back on Bulbasaur. And then for July, we have the Larkspur. Which represents levity, lightness, refreshing, joyful, fickleness, and sweet. So the idea that I wanted Larkspur is more for the light and joyful type of refreshing type of vibe. And it's actually pretty similar to how Sweet Pea is composed in terms of the like colors. Actually, even the layout, I think it's somewhat similar. But this has a more happy, refreshing tone to it um, with the use of yellow. And the color of her blouse is white, and the, the curtains are white, and all of that. Except, I think now you, you notice my problem, which is I sort of have a same face syndrome, slash, I also tend to use the three fourths view a lot, which is facing to the left side. And I tried, I've been trying to fix that, but I just have a tendency, tendency to draw that way too much. Even when I sketch, I always use that, that um, angle. So, it's also something I'm trying to work on. Next, we have August, which is the Gladiolus, which means the strength of character, moral integrity, remembrance, infatuation, and honor. So, the Gladiolus actually turned out really, really well. It's such a strong, dramatic piece. Um, I think mainly because of the background. And they went, obviously, with honor and strength of character here. I really like knights, even though I haven't really been drawing them often. But they, I've been drawing them a lot since I was younger, so they're sort of my thing. Um, so glad you just had a couple of accidents happening. First things first, I actually did use a marker again to create the background for this. But originally, I wanted to do like a sort of bokeh design, so like you know, with the camera, like those circle light circles things. I wanted to do that, but I sort of failed with the with the yellow background so i think i put an orange on top of that to make it you know, do something else with it besides orange blended into the flowers too much so i added like a red reddish burnt sienna ish color over here and that just made it look really really complete it's really interesting yeah i, I like it For September, we have the forget-me-not, which means, well, forget-me-not, kidding. It means patience, daintiness, remembrance, deep love and affection, and magic. So I went with magic, I think, quite obviously, because it's a unique theme compared to the other flowers, which means love and happiness and all of that. So it was interesting, but I think I'm starting to feel the effects of the burnout and stress and being tired all the time so it's not particularly nice even though i really really love the theme of it so this one piece if i could redo i probably will just because i really love the theme and i want to do a better composition i want to do better colors my technique's getting better i feel at this point like starting around and sweet pea until forget me not my technique has just was getting better and better and not just like this flat thing over here but that's unfortunately thing life happens so yeah next we have the marigold for october which represents winning grace protection comfort healing and lovable so i i think you're starting to see what color scheme i tend to use I've already used like the turquoise teal color over there. I'm starting to use it over here. Because um, I was trying to veer away from blues because I tend to use that a lot. I really, really like the color blue so I tend to use it as you can see. It's almost always present. I think it's only in Lily of the Valley and Gladiolus are the only ones without blue. 
and this I guess. So my bias is real. And the marigold is interesting. I really like the flower when I searched it up. Um, I drew this really really late. This was supposed to be for October but I drew it in... I did draw it in October but the video editing wasn't until November so that, that sucks. Just for a while I got tired of editing videos I think. Now for this, I really like this one because these seemingly black blobs over here is actually gold paint. And it's the first time I used gold paint in a piece, I think. Uh, it's actually gold ink um, for calligraphy. And I've been using it just to play around a little bit. I haven't really applied it anywhere. But I remembered I had gold ink. And it looks so cool. Now this outfit actually reminds me a little bit of Fire Emblems. I think because of this cloak here. It reminds me of Sakura. I can't remember her name properly. I played Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Heroes for a bit, but I've stopped now. Um, Fate and Order is still sucking me up, so yeah. Uh, what would I change here? I think a little bit of the color scheme. Like, it's too monotonish pink. Though this, this orange really bakes it up and ties a little bit with her hair, but I don't know. Colors was never my strong point. But it's something I'm trying to improve. I'm actually starting to get it really well lately because I am a designer by trade. So I've been getting a lot of practice of using color palettes, though they're still pretty conventional. The ones that I use are still pretty conventional, I think. Next for November, which we saw pretty recently, I think, because I only uploaded this in December. But this the chrysanthemum. This is supposed to be for November, which represents compassion, friendship, joy and cheerfulness and abundance so i went for more joyful cheerful and <laughs> unfortunately it looks like marigold especially when you put them beside each other i don't think they're they're the ones that come after each other so the thing is actually the thing is um i tend to design these in a bubble so i don't look at the other flowers and like i don't look at the other flowers before i draw the next one so when i put them all together it's like oh Larkspur and Sweet Pea kind of look similar, and like Chrysanthemum and Marigold is pretty much almost the same thing. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> so, I really put a lot of effort into Chrysanthemum, though, especially the flowers, because I really love the flower. Um, I really like the gradients and how it has different tones in the flower itself. So, I tried to make it really somewhat highlighted piece the girl's just there almost but yeah yeah unfortunately because um the name is so long i couldn't draw the flower anymore so this is like a line but i guess that's fine and last but not the least the one you've seen the most recently i just uploaded it during on Sunday, so you still should be able to see it. I'm gonna, probably gonna link it somewhere, but we have December's poinsettia. Now, poinsettia represents um, good cheer. I can't read my own writing. Oh no, sweetness of esteem, victory, and I think that's success. I was in a hurry and I wrote that. I should just check my sketchbook. Yeah, it is a success. success. So poinsettia being the December flower, it's usually in the creations. You can just watch it, watch the entire video for that. I talked a lot there as well. Um, I wanted a more cozy feeling. So it's like rose where it's like not really in line with the actual theme of the flower. But I really... So I took a break a little bit between my between Forget Me Not and my Golden Chrysanthemum. There were long breaks in between. I did Chrysanthemum and Pointech a little bit almost right after each other. I think they're only the three a week apart when I made them. So the color the coloring is still a bit more similar. But I'm proud of Pointech um because of the of the layering and the colors. I mean it's not top tier, obviously. It's not um, professional level, but if you compare poinsettia and how I did carnation, like I also did also yellows here. I can see that very very faintly. 
that there's also yellows, but I don't know. I don't know what I did. Or maybe it's perhaps in the colors that I chose, but Poinsettia looks so much more, has so much more depth and polish and composition wise carnation is, looks really, really good. But Poinsettia, for some reason, makes me really happy to look at. And I feel like I've grown just using the colored pencils since, I mean, that's what, that was the goal, just to make me use them and learn and grow more as an artist to learn not to be afraid of my art materials so I'm gonna put that there and that's that's Clara series now let's do I'm gonna lift you guys up let's do a quick top down view that's all of them wait, I am not in focus I think Okay, this is out of focus. Okay, either way, you're gonna do a slow pan. This is gonna be manual because I'm just using my hands. This is so shaky. I hope auto, auto shake is auto stable at this point. What are you doing out of place? There we go. Now, what do I plan to do for 2019? I really don't have anything planned, to be honest. Um, I feel like I really want to encourage people to do more monthly drawings because it does force you to- I think I mentioned this at the start, I can't remember. Um, but it does force you to draw every month for once, so you are kind of improving. It's at a slow pace, it's just once a month, but it is, it's better than not drawing for six months, which I have done once. And especially if you're trying a new medium like this, because I was forcing myself to use the colored pencils, I slowly got better. I mean, as you can see, I feel like I've gotten way, way better than... Than, the, than in January, so it forces you to learn the medium slowly but surely, and it's something to do, especially for a YouTube channel, sometimes you just run out of ideas and hey, I still have that monthly series to get back to, or at one point I had two series running at the same time, which was the Knights of the Round Table, which was a really long series that I did on and off, and I'm not yet done, I still have to do Arthur and Andrew Vane actually. So, I'm not quite done, but it's it's nice. It's nice to see everything laid out like this. I mean, wouldn't you be proud if you saw yourself, you know, like, finishing 12 pieces, 12 theme pieces? Yeah, it, I think you'd be proud of yourself too. Anyway, that's all. We are at 25 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. I've been trying to get back into the group posting again. Um, yeah, I'll see you around.